Hello, I'm Greg Jamian, and welcome to Boomer Health at Home. As more baby boomers receive medical services at home, there are many questions that pop up that require sometimes quick answers. I have put together a series of short segments with healthcare professionals that will help explain how things work along with answers to common questions found in home-based care. I hope you find the following information helpful. Hello and welcome to another episode of Boomer Health at Home. I'm your host, Ryan Donlin. Joining me today is an RN expert, Lisa Plinus, and today we're going to talk about the uh, Zika virus and what you need to know to protect yourself if you do have travel plans in the upcoming future. Lisa, thank you for and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So let's uh, first start off by asking what is the Zika virus? The Zika virus is a mosquito that originated in 1947 in Africa. Um, it's, there's been cases in Africa, but it hasn't been known here in the U.S. because um, just it was kept confined there. But then the first case in 2015 in Brazil kind of flourished after that and now reaching the U.S. Oh, and you mentioned mosquitoes. Is there a mm -hmm. certain type of mosquito, one over the other, that's carrying this? Or? It's a, called an IDs mosquito, oh. and it's um, it, the mosquito however it originated um, is only a f uh, infected from somebody already who had the Zika virus so um, you know mosquito has to get also have that transmitted to them from somebody who had the Zika and then carries it up to other people. Okay now I actually just read on the news yesterday that there's a case that was reported in Texas and it sounds like this is spreading. Are there areas where it's more concentrated and, and where are these areas? The more, uh, the warmer areas, the more tropical areas are more prevalent than um, like, for instance, Michigan. Um, but there have been 69 confirmed cases in Michigan. Wow. And you hear people mention it, this, the risk for pregnant women and, or women looking to have children in mm -hmm. the future. Why is this such a risk for childbearing women? Uh, because it can cause uh, birth defects, miscarriages, um, one of the birth defects, the most severe, is the microencephaly, um, smaller, small brain, where actually the part of the brain collapses in utero, right. causing um, a lot of nervous nerve problems. How long can someone carry Zika virus if they are infected with it? Well, it can, you know, you can be contracted with it and not show symptoms for a couple weeks. But they do say if you travel anywhere, you know, any tropical areas or if you do any, um, any traveling throughout the U.S., Caribbean, whatever, that you at least wait six months before you would want to conceive a baby. Or, you know, if you're a male, it can also be sexually transmitted or vice versa, female to a male. So a male should wear a condom with his wife, partner for at least six months to prevent that because um, symptoms can show up a little bit later. So that's what the CDC recommends. What are the symptoms of Zika? Uh, Flu-like symptoms. They can, they can be mild, and in, mostly in males they don't have symptoms. But in females it would be, um, well in, in both male and female, but there can be no symptoms. And um, it would be a rash, conjunctivitis, red eyes, um, just tiredness, and it can also lead to uh, Guillain-Barre, which is a nervous system disorder. Um, so it can be very minor to very severe. Wow, and now if you think you suspect you might have it, how do they determine, uh, can they test for it? Or? Yeah, the, you'd have to go to your physician and they would do blood work. And it's blood work and urine are the only known tests, but there are not any vaccines or cures for it. Uh, can they treat it? They can treat it with lots of fluids and rest, same as you would with a, a cold or a flu. Great, and now how about if you do have travel plans going to Florida, I mean this is a popular time of year to go mm -hmm. travel, can you prevent it? How can you protect yourself? 
basically the same way that you would in your backyard in the summertime. I mean, you'd want to wear long sleeves, you know, thin long sleeves, use a mosquito repellent that has DEET in it. Um, they, and with these Zika uh, mosquitoes, they also are known for daytime biting, where most of our normal other mosquitoes, you know, they bite pr predominantly at night, but these are both out during the day and at night, so it's better to stay indoors if you can. Um, and I know that's not fun when you're going on vacation, but it's um, just something else we have to make sure that we, you know, can we, it is preventable if we take the right precautions. Oh, great. Well, thank you. That's very informative. It's actually all the time we have for today. If someone has any more questions about Zika virus, is there, or if they are planning on traveling, mm -hmm. where can they get more information? They can go to the CDC website. Um, that would uh, let them know like everything that we've talked about here. Um, it, they also keep their website updated. So I may have this information, maybe six months old, but they, they update theirs all the time. So um, anything that you would look up there would be current. Well, thank you, and thank you for being on the show thank today. You. If you at home have any questions about anything you saw on this show or would like to speak with Lisa directly, please call us at area code 248-288-2270. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>